John from Eastern Hot Rodder and check this out. This is our first installment of actually the tea bucket. We're actually getting the tea bucket. Um, we get it from my, um, is a fellow that we found down in Georgia. He contacted me online. Uh, Tommy said he had a tea bucket kit for us. Powder coated frame, 8.8 Posi rear, it's fresh built. The extended uh, four inch longer tea body from uh, Spirit Industries. Nice, uh, nice heavy body with uh, fiberglass floor already in place. It's got the steering box, suspension mounts in the front. Little 283, it's an early engine, early heads, no bolt accessory holes there. Uh, it's gonna be nice and simple, just a, you need an alternator for that. Turbo 350 transmission with a nice long neck, uh, uh, low car shifter on it. And that's not all. We got all this stuff inside my truck. Check it out, the front axle, the steering column. We got brakes and suspension and all sorts of stuff. The radiator, a fuel tank. We got almost a complete tea bucket here. There's not gonna be too much more stuff we're gonna have to buy. Uh, I wanna, wanna thank uh, Tommy for coming through on us and uh, and selling us this. This is, uh, this is gonna be our project tea for the Oaks Academy School. I teach science over there and uh, our kids, they're into cars and stuff. So we're hoping we're gonna use this to help promote the hobby and uh, get these kids happy to be at school. Uh, this is four wheel disc brakes. It's gonna be a nice, nice little setup. So we're down here in Georgia, picking this up and we got about a two hour ride home and drop this off. These wheels were the ones that were off the tea bucket. I mean, I, my tea bird, the basement bird. So uh, we'll inventory it more when we get home. Well, aside from just the tea bucket, Tommy's into all sorts of hot rods and he's got this little 30 model A sedan. Nice little small block Chevy 350, LT1 valve covers with the breathers put in. We did a stock car theme on it. We got a nice roll cage in there with the wing on top. That's why there's a little gold mine. I like how we retained the back seat. So it's a, uh, that's like a CJ7 seat. And then he's got a fuel tank right inside there. The nerf bars on it. It's an old stock car that was turned into a street car. So he goes up and down the road with it. Oh, buy it, fly black walls. This is uh, just really neat. I love the, the patina on the lettering and everything. It's just right. Very cool. It's a very, very cool little car. Love her. Thanks for the memories. E5 transmission. Just enough gauges to get the job done. She takes us around different shows and stuff. And uh, it's the first time I got a chance to see it. The old bowl bar in the front. 32 truck radiator or grill shell. Just a really neat thing. So we're getting that tea bucket from a uh, an old dyno old hot rodder like myself. So this is, this is pretty cool. Tommy offered me a ride, so I'm taking him up on it. got a back home and off the trailer sitting in my barn for now until we got a spot at the school to put this kit, this kit car um, I'll go over and show you some of the stuff we got we got a turbo 350 transmission brand new long neck got a low car shifter I do have to put the kick down D10 in there and put a block off in there we'll to make up our own training lines got a yoke for the drive shaft so it's a start there we got our complete front suspension with uh, radius rods the uh, um, steering arm or steering rods and uh, uh, link joint and stuff are all, all set there. Got our spindles, spindles with steering components there, and the speedway arms like I have on the on the rat rod. Underneath that pad, we have a couple of rotors. We got a transmission shield. Um, there's a caliper there for the back brakes. The other calipers in there as well. Uh, over here, we got front calipers in that box with the rotors. We got engine and transmission mounts all over here. This is a, uh, a sending unit for the uh, uh, gas tank. We got some rubber brake lines and a bunch of small parts and bolts and stuff for that. We have a simple steering column with a quick release. 
So we'll have to modify that a little bit. I think the hole doesn't quite line up there. We might have to modify the hole and make a nice little boot or something to cover that. But here we got, check this out. This is kind of cool. All in one gauge. There's gas, oil pressure, battery, and uh, temp all right there in the harness there and there, brand spanking new. The gas pedal, this little block off plate he designed to go into the back here. So you can mount your license plate there and then you can take it out and put a, a uh, rack on there if you need to. Spun aluminum gas tank, brand spanking new. I just took it out of the box. Look at those nice chrome coil over shocks. Rebuilt 8.8 posi rear with 323 gears or 327s or something like that. You said. Two by three box tube frame from uh, Spirit Industries and Spirit Industries lengthened uh, four inches um, fiberglass tub with the floor. Uh, he was setting it up to be a little higher so he wouldn't have to do a big transmission tunnel, but I'm thinking we're gonna set this down as low as we can get it and uh, cut the tunnel to clear that turbo 350 trans. Got the chrome windshield frame mounts and a uh, bare steel frame with the windshield just have to get that cut. Um, that's what we got, plus on top of all that, a 1967 283 that has been rebuilt about four, he said just under 500 miles ago. Yeah, it looks nice and clean. Sounds good, he sent me a video of it running, so I know that's in good shape. Uh, newer Holly 600 carb, which is perfect for a little 283. Fuel pump and everything. So this sucker will actually run just the way it is right now if I stick this in the fuel, hook it up to the battery and, and fire it up. Mini starter over on the side and the headers. Now we'll probably sell those headers and put a lake style header on this. Um, there's gonna be a lot of things we're gonna have to sort out and figure out how we wanna do it, but engine transmission, we'll have to do, do have to get a drive shaft made. We'll have to figure out what we wanna do for interior. Um, all the other small parts, we have brake lines and, and stuff like that. Brand new radiator, and this is pretty cool because it's got a nice little radiator cap on it. I'd like to put a nice little grill shell over it. Uh, this front suspension is, is, this frame's really nice. Now he plated this a little stiffer, so he can put the friction shocks in. Um, I wish I could use these shock mounts here and just run an airplane style shock out. Um, unfortunately, this axle is gonna be too far forward to be able to take advantage of the of the extra space here that you gotta lug right here for the, uh, for like a shock mount lug, but it's not gonna be anywhere near where we need it to be. You can see the distance there. So I might end up using the friction shocks. They'll mount on here and then the arm will come down to that spot there. And the friction shocks on these little buckets work pretty good. There's a bracket there for a radius rod to tie into the uh, dismount to uh, uh, help locate the axle so it doesn't move side to side. The uh, body's really nice, the frame's really nice. It's good heavy stuff. So we're, we'll see what we end up building with this thing. We're gonna reinforce the body by putting some, some bracing in around the, the uh, top part in here so we can attach our upholstery and stuff to and give this a little bit more strength here because without a door, you wanna be able to sit on that side to get yourself in and uh, make it a little easier. Who knows, maybe we'll cut a door in it, brace it up real good and then cut the door in. Uh, but 88 rear with the hairpins already in place, beautiful coil over shocks. We gotta pick our wheel and tire combination. The gauge is cool looking. This is gonna have a nice old, cool, old school look. What I like about this early 283, being a short pump and everything, this and this is plenty of room to be able to put a long pump or even a lower snout with the 671 on there. But there are no accessory bolt holes in these heads because they're early heads. So this would be uh, a nice one to, to dress up and really go with a nice nostalgia theme with this one. But we'll see what the kids want to do. We're gonna, we're gonna have these kids build this car. So follow along with my channel. Uh, they appreciate it if you subscribe because we are gonna build this car and document the build on this car as the kids, uh, and not just the building the car, but the, the how the kids grow as they're building this and see them, see their desires and stuff turn into other stuff and uh, see these kids turn into budding hot rodders. Uh, we're hoping this increases our attendance at our school and gets our, uh, our students to, to stick around a little bit longer for graduation so it can increase that attendance, maybe get these kids interested in something other than just playing video games. Get these guys so they're building hot rods and, and uh, um, even if they don't get involved with the hot rods, maybe the kid that's running the brake line wants to become a, a plumber or the kid wiring the car decides to be an electrician or you get an upholstery guy out of it, who knows. But the point is to have fun, build a cool car and make it one of the coolest high schools around. And these kids are gonna have a blast doing this. So again, thanks guys for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, support us, support those kids and uh, follow along as we build this sucker.